myself madhu i am working with pthings as a qt and qml developer pthings is a qt software development company our focus is only on qt and qml software development now i am going to give the demo on car infotainment application which i developed this application is uh, designed by using c++ and qml this car infotainment application is nothing but the collection of hardware and software that going to provide the audio and video entertainment now i am launching my application by using the qt software qt is a multi cross platform application it means write once and deploy in any of the operating system like windows linux ios android and also the embedded devices for example imx raspberry pi arm processor without changing the code okay now i am launching the application by using the qt software if i click on this the qt software will open this is the qt creator now i am going to select my project by clicking the open project icon now i am going to my directory where i stored my project okay here i am got the project that is the car infotainment application this is the once i select the car infotainment profile the qt creator will open and it contains these several headers and our sources and the resource files in the resource file contains the images and also the qml files now i am going to run my project by clicking the run button here my project is building so it takes the time time after building that uh, the my project will launch this application is uh, the front end in this application the front end was designed by using the qml and um, the back end were designed by using the c++ okay my application is uh, running because the build is building it's take time okay now the application is launch this is the my home page this can this home page contains the display area and also it's having the several buttons this is the a dvd eject button home phone button this is the multimedia button this is the back button and this is the main start button and the forward and backward button and this is the bright brightness button okay now i am launching my application by clicking the start button once i click on this on button the logo will appear along with current system time once again i am going to show you this see once i click on this on button the you are going to see some changes like uh, the border this border color will change and some of the text will pop up in the button and some of the buttons will enable okay now i am going to on the button once i on the button the customized logo will appear and the current system time will display for this customized logo whatever you have see that that i am use the animation concept okay now i am going to show you one by one this is the multimedia button once i click on this multimedia button there is the three options were there this is the audio this is video and this is the image video okay for this also i use the animation concept once i click on this audio icon see my audio icon the audio page will display it contains contains the controls here i use the slider 
and uh, this is the pause and play button and this is the stop button this is the uh, list button and this is the file folder icon once i click on this file folder icon the file dialog will open here i am going to select the one audio file once i click on audio file is selected the the audio will start by and here whatever you are seeing this is the volume control by using this volume control i am going to increase or decrease the volume audio volume this control is uh, done this is the uh, customized control i am use the dial for this uh, control i have customized the dial okay when i click on this okay i when i click on this uh, pause button the audio will pause and here here it, i am use the um, particle concept okay particle concept so you are seeing that uh, like um, stars whatever you are seeing right okay now if i on the play button again it is going to start okay when i click on this stop button the entire it going to audio play will stop okay when next move on to next um, control that is the video okay the video will be uh, in the next uh, next version we are going to release that uh, uh, video player some of the uh, were uh, implemented that i am going to show you the whatever you are seeing this uh, icon right by using this icon i am going to large the uh, larger or smaller the display screen and increase or decrease of c and going to larger the screen and if i click on again it's going to decrease the or for uh, in decrease the screen here also i use the slider and pause play button stop button okay later i'm it has not implemented later i'm going to show in the next version okay if i click on the back button again it back to the menu page and next is the image viewer in this image viewer we are going to uh, we are going to see the images wherever you stored for example uh, uh, in the pen drive or in mobile or in a um, uh, hard disk okay that uh, images you are going to view in the image viewer okay next come on to the back once you click on back again you are going to back to the main page you main menu page next move to the next control that is the radio once you click on this radio the radio page will display here i use the several controls this is the these are all whatever you are seeing this this is the buttons this is cuts customized buttons here customized button for this and this is the slider this this also customized it okay okay this uh, these are the buttons and uh, now i am first uh, i am going to scan the available channels if i click on this scan button it going to scan the available channels and stores in the database and these are all um, selected um, or the um, scanned channels okay okay all these channels were scanned now we can able to play the fm okay uh, if by using this control we can uh, 
increase and decrease the volume. So now we can increase and decrease the volume. Or uh, we can switch on to the some other channels. And uh, here, if see, if you click on the some button, uh, here the channels will display the number what the 92.7 right that number will display here and also the color will change okay likewise we can uh, switch on to some other channels by uh, clicking this uh, buttons and uh, the channel's names will be uh, in the next version so, okay. and here the, all the stations will be stored in playlist and that can be accessed to play the radio okay. These are all the favorite buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, up to six. Right? See these buttons also I was customized. Customized. See how it has. Uh, and by using this uh, forward and backward button. We can change the channels. Right now, it has not implemented, uh, and also this one also we can. Okay, we can move the slider or uh, drag the slider. Drag the slider. Okay, next. I mean to the back button. Once you click on back, again it will come to the menu page. Then move on to the phone. Once I click on the phone button, it is having the several menus like phone, quick dial, phone book, history, message, and settings. If I click on the phone button, the keypad will uh, appear. Here also, I use the customized um, sorry animations I used, and also the customized buttons. These are all the customized buttons. See now, once again, I will show. See how it is appearing by using the, this buttons. See where we can type the number. Right now it is not uh, implemented. And here phone book. If I click on the phone book, the contact list which are stored in the database is going to show. Here I use the model view concept. This is a list view. So list view. If you select any of the number, it's going to display in the text, but right now it is not uh, displaying it. Okay. Uh, if you click on the dial button, it's going to show that uh, dialing like that. If you click on this uh, end button, after some time it's going to show this call end, and then it's going to disappear and uh, appear. The keypad will appear. Okay, one thing I want to tell you that this whatever you are seeing that uh, buttons right in the down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 this is uh, favorite buttons and for uh, storing the uh, numbers and um, I, I use customize these uh, buttons for uh, speed dials here by using these buttons we can uh, store this number also okay if i click on the if you double click it the system will uh, off once again i am going to show you c 
see if you click on double click the application will close and um, this is uh, then for the touch screen okay if you like this video give thumbs up thanks for watching have a great day for more information visit our website www.pthings.com or info at pthings.com thank you once again